Let the tears come up and joy. Amen. Amen. Oh, because I live, ye shall live also. Oh, my. If the Old Testament saints could think that, what ought we to think this morning? After 1900 years of sin, suffering and toils and so forth, knowing that we're right into the front door of the resurrection. Amen. The church has moved right up to the hour now where the resurrection can come at any time. And I'm thinking, what will it mean to us at that day as a believer? What will it mean on the day I can see on that early morning when Martha and Mary went out to the grave? They were coming along the side of the hill after a night. Think of that poor mother's heart, her baby all the way. When, she was, when it was born, they said it was an illegitimate child and it absolutely didn't belong to Joseph. And, the, and it, was, uh, it was Joseph and they were, uh, the baby was born out of holy wedlock. She'd had all that to go through and her own, think about your baby and how he'd been rejected and despised and spit on him. Yet he claimed it and she somehow with a quivering heart said, God brought me that baby. How could it be? Seeing him yonder in that great crucial hour, she thought surely when they went to put a crown of thorns on his head, beat him to the blood, showed to his back, striped him up and down and all these things. She thought, surely at any moment he'll throw that cross down and turn around and hit his foot on the ground and the earth will quake from one side to the other and proclaim who he was. But he had died yonder like a poor, defeated malefactor hanging on the cross. He had died in disgrace. You see the picture, of course, of the cloud around him. That was wrong. They stripped every bit of clothes off of him just so, and disgraced him to the world and everything that they could, and they nailed him to the cross, and there he seemed to be standing helpless, standing the earth this morning. Heavens couldn't have him. He was a sinner. Oh, my. You can only realize, this thing, the earth didn't want its creator. Heaven couldn't receive him because he had the sin of the earth on him. So he didn't even have a place to talk about a place to be born. He didn't have a place to die. Strike. Earth and morning, they rejected and said away with such a fellow. Heaven couldn't receive him because it was only he was a sinner. <laughs> what a savior. Coming from glory and becoming that for me. So rejected by his own that he came to his own, his own received him not. You no place to be born, no place to die. <laughs> what did the world want with him? What could they do but cast him into hell? But there's somebody who loved him. I'll not leave his soul in hell. Neither will I suffer to see corruption. But he raised him up from the grave. And he come forth on Easter morning, triumph, hallelujah, broke every bound and every tear and every day, rose again and stands alive today forevermore. And his presence is here. He's at this place this morning of worship. He meets wherever two or three are gathered together. You know what a happy heart I have. Know that the very promises he made in the Bible, the things that I do should you also. I'll be with you to the end of the world. The poor, rejected, despised people of this world can still have his presence with us. I'm an infinite. I'm a present. Always. All present. All powerful. Everywhere at all times. How he made a way of escape in every hour of, of trouble. I'm a very present help in the time of trouble, he said. Oh, now this morning he lives. He's with us today. He may be just a little church today. We may be just a little old boarded up tabernacle here, not very much to look at, but there's never a place too humble but what he'll come to. Hey. He's alive today among the living. <laughs> he's not dead, but he's alive. And he lives among the living. The sinner friends today, if you're dead in sin and trespasses, why not live? Why do you stay in death? Why, what have you gained by staying in death? Why not come to life? Why not live today with him and with this great blessed hope?
that even death itself, separating from your loved ones, can never stain or mar or take away anything from what a blessed hope, what a wonderful thing that we have today because of his resurrection. And he lives, and we live with him, and someday he'll come and we'll go with him. Or to go tell my disciples and Peter that I'll go before them into Galilee. He always goes before us to make a way. Where there is no way, he said, I am the way. I am the resurrection. I am the life. And may today, as we gather here today, you love him? He lives. He lives. Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me. He talks with me. within me, and this hope doesn't lie within my bosom. I'd like for you all to remember me today in prayer that this will be the resurrection of me, that my soul will be resurrected into this marvelous hope, knowing that someday I must press a dying pillow and must be buried in a cemetery somewhere in the graveyards or out in the sea or wherever it may be, my lot to fall. But I want to have that hope. I raise my hand and ask you to pray for me. Is there a person? Would you raise your hand? It out. I suppose you're all Christians. That's wonderful. Let's, I believe today after returning back, coming back, I believe that God Almighty will send the Lord Jesus here to this platform today and will prove to you beyond a shadow of doubt that Jesus was alive and among the people today. Amen. I know he is right here now. Amen. Amen. He's here. He lives. We see him. Well, he said to Thomas, so how much greater is their reward who has never seen me and yet can believe? That's that. Amen. He's wonderful. Now, let's uh, sing this. Uh, give us the chorus, Sister Gary, when he lives. I just like to hear that thing this morning. Oh, we see the sorrows and the toils and what the price was. But now this thing, it's all over. Hallelujah. Daylight has come. She always finished. Amen. Hey, Jesus, no more. Amen. Amen. Death is for principality. All darkness is fading away. We live. Amen. We live and he lives. He lives and we live in him. Amen. All together now.
shake hands with somebody and sit next to you and say, Please, well, you're all Christians. You're fellow citizens. Oh, my. Doesn't that make you feel good? Past all forgotten. It's all over. Who did it? He did it. He did it. Who did it? Christ. Let's sing it again to the top of the voice.